and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our new stamp set, Window Scene Winter, and its coordinating dies. This stamp set is so cute and really fun on its own, but one of the great things about it is how it mixes and matches with our window frame die and furry and bright and joy to all. And we've been showing you lots of different ways to mix and match these throughout this week, and now we're going to show you some more fun ideas. So let's go ahead and check it out. This stamp set has, you guessed it, a window winter scene. So there's these really cute birch trees and little hill. Now we're gonna be showing you how to change these little birch trees into something other than winter later on. We also have this adorable couch and a little cushion for the couch and two little snowflakes for helping set the scene. We also have a snow builder and I love this stamp so much. It's so much fun to heat emboss. And here you can see you can stamp it once or you can create a whole pattern with it. So you can keep stamping it all across your sky. And this stamp is of course great for this window scene, but you could also build up your own snowy backdrop for other cards too. And here you can see me build up that pattern. You could keep going and going and fill in your whole sky. There are also really great sentiments in this set. The wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year is one of my new favorites to use on cards. And there's also sending lots of love. So now we're gonna use our Copic markers to add some color to these images. And I always love doing birch trees in these browns. They're also really fun in grays too. And of course, this window scene was created to go behind our window. And we're gonna be showing you how to do that today. But the coordinating dies have a really special cool thing that helps you use it on cards separately as well. And we'll be showing you that too. And so here you can see with my Copic markers, I am building up a sky. And I really love doing this where you start with a darker blue at the bottom and then build up into nothing. Later on, I'm going to show you how to mask this off and use some inking to create the sky too. And you'll notice this stamp set is called Window Scene Winter. And yes, if you look out in spring, there might be another really cute window scene coming. So here I'm going to add some little color to my cushion there using those same blues just so the colors coordinate. And now I'm going to color in this couch. And oh my goodness, how much do I love this couch? Of course, this couch is really cute for these window scenes. But honestly, I can see myself using it on so many different projects because it looks so cute with different critters on it. It looks really cute with the kids from Joy to all, all on it. And I think the kids from Screen Time would be really sweet on this couch too. Here I'm kind of coloring it almost like it's one of those green velvet couches. And so you can see I'm touching the markers tip to tip because they're kind of far away. I don't have the G01 marker. And so I'm just blending them out by doing that and just going back and forth and building up the color. The other way to add color to this couch is by paper piecing. And that's a really fun and fast way. And we'll be showing you that soon too. Here are the coordinating dies for the stamp set, which you can use your wire snips to separate, or you can bend them apart at the tabs. And we're gonna line up those dies with the images, hold them in place with some low tack tape, and run it through the die cut machine. And you'll see that that's gonna cut out this super cute little window scene and our adorable couch too. Now this die set has another die that comes with it and that's the scalloped rectangle and it's the perfect size to layer behind this winter scene. So this is how you can use the winter scene without the window frame and it's a really cute quick and easy card and we're going to be showing you that later on in the video. So you can see how nice that looks layered and then you can see the couch with the little cushion. I mean how cute is that with that little scene behind it? So adorable. Now, the other thing that I really, really love about the scalloped rectangle and the normal rectangle is that you can use them without the stamp set. So here you can see I've just cut two pieces of paper and you can layer them together to create cute scenes. So I love that it's just like a nice little size to create a mini scene with a cute little critter and maybe another stamped element for quick and easy cards. And then here is the comparison between a blank page and then one with the stamped winter scene. So you can see how it's just the perfect little size and I can't wait to use it on lots of different cards. Now here is what this window scene looks like with the window over it. So how cute is that? You can look through and you can decorate that scene however you would like. I love adding cute little stamped images like the tiny winter friends or even some of those cute little dogs and mice in the background. And then here you can see a little paper piece couch. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to paper piece this couch. And this is a great way to use up scraps that you may have or fun pattern papers. 
And so all you have to do is stamp that couch on any pattern paper and you're gonna create your own custom couch. This makes me feel like an interior decorator, like I'm picking out some cute fabrics to put on my new sofa. And then what I like to do is just cut them out with the coordinating dies. And then you'll have these cute little couches that are all done and perfect. Now you could of course leave them plain like this, but you can also add some little extra details with a marker and that's what we're going to do next. So I like using very light browns or very light grays to add these details. And look at that, just as I go along the little edges and creases of this couch, all of a sudden it helps bring it to life. So I'm just finding curves and edges and just adding a little bit of marker. And I'm also going to color in the legs as well, just so that they look a little bit different than the pattern. And so I'm using a very dark brown to just cover up that whole pattern there. And all of a sudden these couches are looking absolutely incredible. So there you can see I've done just a little bit of marker work. And now I'm going to do a little bit more to make it look a little more worn and like an old old couch, right? So we're gonna just keep adding some color there with a warm gray marker and look how cute that is. I really think it just brings that whole couch to life. And here I'm going to do the same thing with a light brown marker because that's gonna match that pattern paper just a little bit better. And I'm just gonna do kind of going around the lines. I'm not making this one quite as old and dirty as the other couch, but here you can see the little comparison and how it just makes it like a little more three dimensional. And then we'll do a little bit of a comparison to the brown plaid couch of which I haven't added any marker to. And you can see that all three of these look great. They're just three different looks. So now we're going to be creating a card with these awesome products. And so we've got our window frame and Christmas garland. And the first card we're gonna be making is using that window frame. So here I've cut it from some cilantro cardstock and I'm gonna use some Lucky Clover ink over top just to give it a little extra detail. Uh, Megan is the one from our design team is the one that showed me that Lucky Clover ink mixed with our cilantro cardstock is the most beautiful color combo. So definitely try that out. Here you can see I'm using the sweater weather paper. I'm actually using the 12 by 12 size for a little bit of a bigger pattern. And I'm going to be using these patterns as my wallpaper and my carpet. And we're gonna then cut some other details out of the carpet color just to bring it out throughout the card. And so there's a little bow in the Christmas garland set. And that little bow has this little tail that you kind of just wrap around the bow. And that's how you create this really cute three dimensional look. So you'll see that little tail there. We're just gonna add some liquid glue and then wrap it around the bow and you'll see just how cute it looks. It looks like you actually tied a little tiny bow there. I'm gonna glue that bow right onto those tiny little tails, and then we're gonna set these pieces aside and start working on creating our scene. So the first thing we're gonna do is create some wallpaper, because we're gonna make an indoor scene. And so this sweater weather paper makes a really cute wallpaper. And then we're gonna do that really pretty kind of burgundy color for the bottom. And this kind of reminds me of that kind of like, remember in the 90s when everyone had forest green carpet? It's kind of like that feel, I feel like. <laughs> so we're gonna layer that carpet on the bottom there, and then we're gonna die cut the window out of some chocolate bar cardstock. And that's a really fun color for the window frame. And then now we can add our little garland on top. And I like to put glue just on the very top parts of the branches, because I like when the garland hangs down over the window. I think that just looks really, really pretty. Then we can add some liquid glue right in the center and we're gonna add that cute little bow that we worked on to the top. And that's gonna help bring in the carpet color from the bottom up towards the top and just tie the whole thing together. Now we're going to take out window scene winter and we're going to use that beautiful scene that we colored earlier. And then we're also going to take out some new favorite stamp sets. So we're going to take out furry and bright. And then we're also going to take out joy to all. And we're going to combine all of these products together so you can see how they can all work together. And of course they all work separately really well too. So I'm going to add some tape runner to the back of my window and then we're going to kind of look at this scene and see how it's going to go. And I want a little puppy outside. So I'm layering him onto the window and then I'm going to layer that whole thing onto that window winter scene that we created. Next up, I'm going to stamp the sentiment before I start adding anything else to the card. And we're gonna stamp the wishing you a Merry Christmas. It's from the Window Scene Winter stamp set. We're just gonna stamp that in some black licorice ink at the very top of the card. And then now we can add some tape runner to the back of the window and layer that right under the sentiment. Next, I'm going to play interior decorator again, and I'm gonna add my little throw pillow to the couch. And I colored this in with my markers, but to kind of match that same rosy pink that we have in the other elements in the card. We're gonna add the cute little reindeer ears to this other little pup here. And I think that's just, uh, it makes the whole card. Those little reindeer ears are just so cute. And then we're going to attach him right onto the sofa. So he's climbed onto the sofa to take a look at his friend who's outside. I don't know why his friend's outside in the snow, but I think he's having fun out there and he'll come 
inside in just a second. So here we're going to add some foam squares to the back of the couch and then layer that right onto the scene. And those little puppies looking at each other, I mean, the card could be done just like that. But I had this cute little boy colored in and I thought he just looked adorable there on the side and he's holding a present for his two little dog friends. So we're going to attach him on there and then give him that little bone with the bow. And I think that's just so adorable. The last step is to add this whole panel to a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. And this card is all done and it just turned out so cute. I love the two little dogs looking at each other and the couch just helps set the whole scene so much fun and so cool. And I love being able to just stamp out one winter scene so quickly with this stamp set. Now we're going to be working on using this winter scene without the window. So here you can see I've stamped out two scenes. Uh, the one on the right, I end up making a mistake on. You'll see it in a second and I redo it later. But right now we're going to be stamping that scene onto a full stick post-it to create a mask. Then we're gonna take our scissors and I'm gonna cut right along that black line. And we're gonna cut everything out that isn't the trees and the hill. That way we're able to fill in the sky with ink blending instead of using markers to fill in the sky. So this is a really fun way to do that. So I'm just going right along that black line there. Um, I always kind of go right in the middle of the black line and that always makes it so the mask lines up pretty well. Now you'll notice the birch trees on the left, we have a little bit of work to do on those. I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife to cut in between those birch trees. Now I am not good with an X-Acto knife and this was pretty easy to do because it was nice straight lines. So if you wanna try this, it's not too bad. Now it's a lot of work to create a mask, but the cool thing is, is you can use it over and over again. And I actually store masks on the back of my stamp set. So I always have it with me and I've already used this one three times. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna line up the mask over the hill and the birch trees. And the one on the right, you're gonna see, I made two mistakes on that one. Number one, I forgot to mask off the edges of the scene, so that was a mistake. And then the other thing that I did was I ended up using um, a brush that was dirty and I mixed it in the salvage patina and it made way too dark of a color. So we're going to throw that one aside and we're going to work on this one instead. And so the mistake I made was not masking off those edges of my scene. So I'm going to do it with just some pieces of scrap paper because I happen to have them on my desk. Another way I like to mask off edges is just with post-its. So I just put post-its around and I'll use that in a little bit later too. So I just used these pieces of paper because they were there uh, and I just kind of stuck them together with the extra piece of post-it that I had cut apart from my little birch trees. I just like to use what's right in front of me on my desk. So now I'm going in with my salvage patina ink that's so pretty and I'm just going to go ahead and ink that scene up. And so I'm going to do darker towards the bottom and lighter towards the top. And this is going to be my winter scene. My very favorite part of masking is lifting the mask up. And look how pretty this is. It turned out so nice. I absolutely adore how this looks. And now I'm going to work on my fall scene, my fall scene redo. So here you can see, I actually did the grass a little bit lighter too. My grass had turned out too dark. So I just colored that with some YG07, YG05, YG03 type markers. And I'm just going through and just kind of fixing up the bottom there, adding a little bit more color. And we're gonna use that same exact mask and we're gonna go over that hill and then over the birch trees. And then this time to mask off the edges, I'm just gonna use some post-its, which is nice and quick and easy. And then we're gonna use that same salvage patina ink on this scene too. So I love that I'm kind of using what's on my desk and able to create two cards pretty quickly because of the mask I already had cut and this awesome stamp that stamps that whole scene out for you really quickly. So now we're gonna peel up these masks and we're gonna see the results of our handiwork. Then we'll take that mask and I'm gonna store it right on the back of my stamp set so that it's ready to use for the next card I'm gonna create. And then we'll use the coordinating die to cut out both of these scenes. Now to create these scenes, we're gonna use some fun critters. And so I went through my stash here of some critters that I had colored and I have my You Autumn Know Mice and Fall Leaves and also the Furry and Bright stamp set. And we're gonna mix and match one of the dogs here in our scene. And right now I am recreating cards by Elise and they were just so cute and so fun. So thank you so much for these gorgeous cards, Elise. So we're gonna add that little puppy dog into the snow and then his little Christmas present is going to be right to the side of him. And then we'll add our fall leaves dog and that cute little mouse is gonna be in the fall leaves as well. And that's gonna help create our fall scene. Now, next up, I'm going to take out the two new six by six pads and that is the Let It Shine Snowflakes and also the Sweater Weather. 
And so we're going to go ahead and pick out some of the papers in these. And one paper is going to be that scalloped rectangle, and one is going to be the card base that we're going to die cut with the largest of the outside in stitched rectangles. And there you can see that Let It Shine paper. Oh my gosh, those beautiful, shiny, foiled snowflakes. Oh, I just love them. And this gray is perfect for the winter scene. So for our little scalloped rectangle, I've die cut one of the papers that doesn't have the foils, so that the foil is going to be kind of our main event. And then we can add some tape runner to the back and center that. And now we have this cute little framed photo. And then we'll do the same thing with our fall one and we'll layer that onto that kind of tealy green herringbone. And you can see just how fun that scene is turning out. Next, we're gonna take that largest outside in stitched rectangle and we're gonna die cut our pattern paper. So of course, we've got some fall leaves for our fall card and then this beautiful silvery gray for our winter card. And we'll have some standard size card bases at five and a half by four and a quarter. And then we'll layer these stitched rectangles right on top so that there's a nice eighth inch border all of the way around these patterns. Now next up we have to work on our sentiments and we're going to be using some scripty word dies for those and we're going to use scripty Mary and scripty hello. Now to add some dimension to these words we're going to die cut both the Mary and the hello out of three layers of white cardstock and then the other one is going to be out of one of the pattern papers from the different 6x6 six six pads. So we've got the one from the Let It Shine Snowflakes and then the other one is coming from the Sweater Weathers. So we're using all the papers in one pad so that we know everything's going to coordinate nicely together and then we can just add liquid glue and layer the different pieces on top to create this three-dimensional sentiment. Then we'll add some liquid glue to the back of each and then layer it onto the scene. And I love this look where it's layered a little bit onto the scene and then kind of coming off of it. I think it looks really, really cute and it helps tie in the sentiment to this cute little kind of framed photo that we've created. Now to finish up the sentiments, we're going to be using some heat embossing. But first we're gonna add some nice foam squares to the back of this so that we can pop off these simple scenes onto our pattern paper. And then now we're gonna work on that heat embossed sentiment. So we're gonna stamp out just the word Christmas from the wishing you a Merry Christmas. We're gonna stamp that in some clear embossing ink, add some white heat embossing powder. We're gonna heat that up with the heat tool and then just trim it down. So there's just a little black border around the word Christmas. Now I'm gonna add this to my card and right here is when I'm gonna realize that I wanted to heat emboss those cute little snow builder elements from the stamp set onto the scene. And this was a little brave, but I just had to do it. So I took off my two characters and I brought out my stamp set and I decided to be brave and stamp onto a card that had already been created. So I'm going to stamp two layers of the snow and two layers of that snow is like the perfect amount to fill in the area above that snow bank. So it looks really cute. So we're going to stamp that in that clear embossing ink and we're going to do two of those and then we can sprinkle on our uh, white embossing powder and you'll see I'm sprinkling it on and making sure it kind of falls off of the top of the card just so I don't end up with embossing powder all over the place. And then from there, we can heat that up with the heat tool. And I got very lucky that this all worked out and it looked really cute, but I definitely recommend you do that before you assemble the whole card. So now with that little snow added in there, I feel like it makes just the whole thing. So we can layer our little dog and the bone right on top again. And then next up, we're going to work on the hello card. And for the hello card, we took out a favorite stamp set and that's the thanks, thanks, thanks stamp set. And we're going to use the word friend from it and we're going to do the same heat embossing technique. We've added the white heat embossing powder and then we're going to heat it up with the heat tool and then trim it down and do the same idea. So I love that both of these cards have the same idea but they have two different themes to them and that's a really fun way to create multiple cards at once. And look how cute these turned out. That foil paper looks so cool and these little scenes are so much fun to create with that little scalloped rectangle. I just adore them. Next up, Shari is going to create an adorable card with a super cute couch incorporated in it. So take it away, Shari. So today I'm making a card using the new Window Scene Winter stamp set. And I'm starting out with a fog cardstock card base. And I've put that on my Make Art Station with a little bit of removable adhesive. And then I'm using the magnets on that mat to hold my stencil in place. So I'm using the Snowflake background stencil. There are two stencils in this set and I'm going to fill this whole card base with snowflakes. I'm using hickory smoke distress ink and my blending brush just to put a light layer of that gray down so that I get this really cool gray on gray tone on tone look and this is going to be basically the wall of the room where my little scene is going to be. 
Now I can put that second stencil and you can see that those snowflake openings fall in the voids that were left from the first stencil. And some of these are going to get covered up, but I'm not 100% sure exactly where the edges of the window and the images I'm going to add are going to fall. So it's just better to completely cover this with that ink. So once I've made sure that I've got all of those little openings in the stencil inked, I can pull that stencil away. And this is actually a really cool background just in itself. I'm going to be stamping on some Let It Snow snowflake paper to create my little couch and my pillows. This is a good use for these scraps that I have. And I'm just stamping that in some black licorice ink. You can see I'm kind of moving my pillows around to get some of those little snowflakes on the pillow. And then I'm going to stamp the couch on that red strip. So this is just a really fun way to kind of add some patterns to your images. And also you don't have to color these. This is a really easy way to get some color. So I've cut those out with the coordinating dies. And now I'm going to stamp that window scene. I'm stamping this on white paper with some jet black ink so that I can do some Copic coloring. So you can see here, I've just colored the sky with some Bee Gees and I'm just kind of going over it. It's all pretty even. And then for the snow, you could keep it white, but I like to add a little bit of cool gray and you can see that top is a little shaded. And then I'm also just tracing around the outside because you're gonna see this whole image as our picture that's in the window. Then I'm also going in with a little bit of warm gray and just going down the sides of my trees so they have a little bit of shading. Now I can add the snow that's in this stamp set and I'm just stamping that down in some mermaid ink. And you can stamp this across the scene three times and it will fill the sky with snow. So you can see I have added it to the right side. I'm going to line it up in the center. And then I actually just wiped off that one at the bottom because it kind of falls in the snowbank, which is fine. But for this card, I didn't want that dot in the snow. And I'm going to do the same for this one. And then I have my snow in my sky and I can take the coordinating die and cut that out. There's also that coordinating die that cuts out a scallop rectangle that's a little bigger and you can create a frame. So I've cut that out of some storm cloud cardstock so I get a nice dark gray frame. And then I'm just adhering that scene right to that scalloped rectangle. Now for some card assembly, I've got my card base that I stenciled earlier and I'm just layering a piece of this dark brown wood grain cardstock along the bottom. This is going to be the floor that my couch sits on. I'm going to add my little pillows to the couch with some liquid glue. And then I'm just going to go in with a black marker and color in the legs of the couch because I really just want the couch itself to be red, so it makes sense to make these black. I've put a bunch of foam all over the back of this, and I actually should have stuck my window down first, <laughs> but because I did have to pop the foam up a little bit to tuck this behind there. So now I've put some glue on the back of my window, and you can see I'm gonna pull up that foam tape just a little bit or those foam squares so I can get this window tucked behind there. And then I can just push them back down. So I felt like I needed a little bit more on my couch so I've colored a little dachshund colored like my sweet penny and I'm just going to add that to the couch with a little bit of liquid glue. And then I'm adding some glitter to the snow because what is some snow without some glitter? So I've just put a line of liquid glue right along the hillside and I'm going to add some chunky glitter to this one. I like to keep a little tiny measuring spoon on my desk which is good for picking up some of this glitter and putting it on a project. And then I'm just going to dump it off in that coffee filter and I can pour it right back in my container. Now for the sentiment, I'm just gonna use a part of the sentiment 
just the part that says Merry Christmas. I'm going to white emboss that on a piece of red cardstock. So I just stamped that in clear embossing ink and added that white embossing powder. Heated it up till it's nice and melted and then I'm just going to trim this down into a little rectangle. So you can see I have a little bit of that A before the word Mary, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to cut that right off. And then I've added some foam to the back of this and I'm going to layer this over my window up towards the top. And then I also wanted to add a little bit of glitter to the snow. So I'm just adding stickles just to some of those dots in the sky, not all of them. Just to add some glitter in other places than just the hillside. And then here is my finished card and I just think it is so cute. I love the color scheme and that sweet little dog. This card is just so cute, Shari, and I love that stencil background and the beautiful glitter on the snowy hill. So cute and so fun. And next up, we have some amazing cards by the design team showcasing window scene winter. And this card by Anea just blows me away. I love that beautiful sky that she created and those little dogs playing in the front is just too cute. Audrey created the cutest winter scene by stenciling over in stencil paste on top of those birch trees. And I love this look and I can't wait to try it. And then here Grace created the most gorgeous card and I love her snowy scene. And she used vellum with her window so it gives it kind of this cool frosted look and that's so beautiful. I love it so much. Next up, we have an adorable card by Elena, and I just love the little dogs playing in the lights across the couch. So fun and so cute, and that little snowman there is from Tiny Winter Friends, and he's a perfect match for this set. And Lynette is showing us that too, so she used Tiny Winter Friends and that beautiful snow builder, and I just love this adorable card. Next up, Megan got super creative and she used this scene to create a Halloween card. So I love that these winter scenes can actually be used for a lot of different types of card. And this card is a fluffy flappy. So as you pull that up, a little ghost pops up. So cute and so fun for the upcoming Halloween holiday. And then next up, we have this super cute card with the tiny winter friends hanging out in this cute winter scene. They are a perfect match for this beautiful stamp set. And we cannot wait to see what you guys create with it. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.